Hey there, it's Elizabeth. Welcome back to another Just For Fun video. So I don't think this is gonna really become a series or anything, but I was sitting in here working on the last of my February pages and thought I would just bring you along because I'm in the mood. I'm in the creative mood, kinda sorta. So, um, what's today? I don't even know. It's Wednesday, don't know the date. Might be the sixth. I'm not sure. Anywho, um, this morning my uh, series, the first in the series of the hybrid Fobonichi went out. Really great response so far, so thank you so much. And I'm hoping to put out the next in the series, hopefully next week. It'll be about putting the signatures together and sewing them in. And um, I was looking on, on the comments a moment ago and I got the sweetest comments. So Lindsay, well, I always get sweet comments from you guys. So thank you very much. Um, I love, you know, reading your comments and answering your comments and all that jazz. Um, but it, her comment just st uh, stuck out with me because um, she wrote something along the lines of, you know, how she liked the hybrid idea of everything all in one and that she could do a journal like that um, inexpensively, you know, and so yeah, it's you can. You don't have to have a special book to journal, you don't have to have special equipment. Um, you know, I've been crafting for 20 years or more, so of course, you know, I've got a crap ton of stuff. Um, and right now, this year, I am on a no spend, so yes, um, yeah, so I go shopping in my craft room quite honestly. <laughs> and a lot of the stuff that I do get for my journals, do it, it comes from the Dollar Tree. They have a lot of different things that you can use within your journals. And I know there are a lot of, you know, I'm going to try to walk and chew gum at the same time. You know how that goes for me. But um, yeah, the Dollar Tree is a fabulous place to get stuff inexpensively, you know, for your journal. So I do, you know, thank you, Lindsay, for that sweet comment. Um, and again, you don't need special stuff, you know? So anywho, okay, back to this, what I'm doing here. I thought I'd bring you along. This is my February, well, it's actually my January, February 2019 Fobonichi. Yes, it's March, and yes, I am catching up in February. So this is my last spread that I'm doing. Um, I've said before, like, this book is, like, literally eight inches thick, okay? It's crazy fat. And uh, so I can no longer do much on the left-hand side of the page, writing or anything like that. So I looked through some of my magazines, I looked through uh, my faux flow that I got from Sweet Allison and picked out a few things. This came from a magazine, magazine, uh, faux flow, faux flow. The background is gelatos with a baby wipe and I just slapped it on there, right? So this was also as a piece of canvas uh, that has um, quotes on it and such from Allison's Faux Flow. So I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna put some stinky glue on it, my Fabri-Tac, and I'm gonna add it to the page as well. Hopefully, yeah. I thought about going live and doing this, but then I thought, no. <laughs> So sorry about the background noise. Everybody needs clean towels now. Good grief. It's one thing or another always. Like they either need clean underwear or <laughs> clean towels is always nice, you know, so. And I share my craft room with my laundry room. So, oh my goodness, look at all that spider webby stuff. I need to clean the tip of my stinky glue off. All right, let's do that now. Okay, well, well, I'll do it in a second. Okay, so this I'm just gonna stick right here on my page. And it says, wherever there is great love, there are always miracles. I love that, yep. And this, uh, this page just talks about the comfort of home and family, my favorite place to be with my favorite people in the world. So there's that. Okay, so that's glued on. Let's clean this tip off. That's the only thing with Fabri-Tac is like, it just gets 
dried glue. And if you don't put the cap on as you're gluing it, what Brooke calls her little glue volcano will happen. Yes, the glue will just erupt out of the top. And this stuff is not cheap, so you don't wanna be wasting your stinky glue. All right, so on this page here, this is gonna be my February 28th page. And so I have, I have collected a few things, okay? Now, this page right here came out of a magazine, okay? And I liked it because, of course, of the artwork on it, but also because this is what I need to do, focus, right? I'm going to turn this into a pocket. So the first thing, well, what am I going to do? How am I going to do this? All right, I don't really care where the notch is, so I'll just, I'll put the notch wherever. How about that, okay? <laughs> Uh, yeah, sometimes it's nice to bring you guys along on, so I'm just, my hands are really shaky because I haven't eaten anything this morning. I forgot. Yep, I'm one of those people. So anyhow, so I cut a little notch because I'm going to make this into a pocket. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So let's scoot this aside a little bit. And this is how I'm going to turn it into a pocket. Sorry for the reach, getting my glue thing, my double stick glue. Now here's the thing about this, just a tip for you. Um, okay, when you're gluing on glossy magazine papers, Fabri-Tac for some reason does not work. Even though it's a permanent adhesive, obviously it's for fabric, you know, but it does wonders with paper to paper, but not glossy paper. You can't use glossy paper. Now what I could do Oh, maybe I'll do that. Okay, I was gonna use this double-sided tape. Now, when you use double-sided tape, the thing with this, little tip for you if you don't know, it never dries, okay? It stays tacky all the time. So if I were to use the double-sided tape to glue this magazine page onto here, it would always stay tacky. So if the tag that I end up putting in here were to get, you know, up next to the top, bottom, or, or the bottom here or the side over here, it would stick, you know? I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it's a pain in the butt, right? Okay, so a little tip on that. Not gonna use that. So let's just use Aileen's Tacky Glue. Hopefully that will work. We will see. So this is how I'm gonna do this, okay? Because this page right here is, sorry if there's a glare, is too big, you know? It's too big for the page. Even, yeah, even if I cut off these little um, borders here at the end, it would still be a little bit big, right? So I don't know where to glue it on the top and bottom. In other words, I hope that made sense. So what I'm gonna do is just take the glue and put it right here along the, the book itself if it wants to come out. Come on, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Messing my video up is what you're doing. And yep, I'm talking to my glue. Now I'm trying to find, okay, this will work. I'm just trying to find, I don't have a stick pin right here. So obviously the glue got stuck, all right or dried up or whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of glue ugh, right up here on the top. Sorry if I'm shaking you about. All right, whoops, come on now. And my hands aren't working. All right. Yeah, I was, did I say that I was gonna make this alive but then decided not to? <laughs> uh, okay, now I'm gonna take my finger and I'm just gonna spread that out a little bit because there's a little bit too much. Really hope I'm in frame. I don't need the pocket to be any like specific size, you know, because I'll just make my tag accordingly. Now what I'm gonna do is put a bead on this side right here, okay? Because I know about how big it needs to be. I'm gonna do that over here. Um, yeah, and let me see, tomorrow on Friday, you guys will, um, sorry for the reach, you guys are gonna see my, uh, I'm just trying to center it up here. Okay, you guys are gonna see my flip through, the last flip through, and what I did not do is, let's move this junk aside, is I did not um, even have these pages done, obviously, right? Because I already filmed that video this morning. 
and um, yeah, so you'll you'll notice that I didn't do the last two pages, but I was in here this morning and I did do. Uh, you might have seen this in the flip, or you will. See, whatever. Yeah, you'll see it in the flip on Friday. But I went ahead and finished this up. This is a cute little permission slip I got in my faux flow. And yeah, I woke up angry again this morning. So this is, a, it's so cute. Permission slip. And it, yeah, it was permission for me to be angry. Yep. Sometimes it happens, right? And then I did my journaling on the back. And so yeah, so this page is all done. Oh, and I did this this morning as well. So another little hint about what to do when your book is too fat. Um, let me just check and see that I am in frame. Yes, I am. Okay. So I got this, I photocopied it out of a magazine because I love the quote and the lettering and all that kind of stuff. And then I just took my gelatos and a baby wipe and a stencil and stenciled around it after I glued the photocopy in just to kind of blend it in with the page, right? So that's what I did on that page. Okay. Let's get to this page now. Okay, so this is glued in, it's bubbling, it's wrinkly. I don't really care, no big deal to me. Um, that happens because the tacky glue is quite wet. So now what I'm gonna do, let's see. I don't think I can move this over a little bit, that's fine. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is cut these off, right? Let me find my regular scissors. How am I gonna do this? See, the book is so stinking fat that it's really, I'm gonna have to stand up, that it's really hard to do. But it's the last page, yay! And I'm probably not, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I'm gonna tear the rest of it. Oh, no, I'm not. Well, I thought I was. All right, there, I don't really care. Okay. Um, yeah, because the book is so flipping fat, I am done. All right. After this page, I am done. Oop, the glue kind of seeped out a little bit and now it's getting all over my scissors. No biggie. Oops. I don't want to cut that ribbon. So we'll just do the best we can. There we go. Okay. So these go in the garbage. Yeah, um, this is gonna be my last page of February. And again, like I said, I, this was, I don't know what, what this was. I was just not testing markers, but seeing if my markers were dried out. And maybe I'll put something back here, maybe I won't. I don't know. I'm pretty much done with the month of February, I can tell you that right now. All right, so let's see here. Let's see, there's orange on this page. I think I want to put a, just a strip of washi tape right down here, why not? So I'm gonna go in my drawer and I'm gonna find a piece of washi tape to put there. Maybe this brightly colored orange and let me get a glue stick. You guys really liked um, when I did like a fun, like what did I call it? Um, what's it called? Just for fun. My last just for fun video you guys really enjoyed. And you know, like I said, I figured since I was in here already doing these pages, I thought, well, let me bring you guys along, right? Um, so I'm just kind of covering up this I know you can't see it because my book is too fat. I'm just gonna tear it off at the end. At this point, I am no longer worried about neatness or anything like that. I'm going to take this and flip it over. Oops, I think I, okay, whatever. All right, there's that. Now, this has now become a pocket for my journaling, okay? All right, so this is what I was working on, this right here. And this is how I'm gonna do it. Uh, this is going to be a tag that I'm going to put in here. Uh, this came from uh, my faux flow, as did this picture of the world. And I was just sitting here thinking, you know, of our life situation right now. Um, and it just made me think that, you know, the earth is going to continue to spin. <laughs> you know, it's... it. It's just gonna continue to spin, whether or not, uh, you know, my life is exactly the way that I want it to be. 
um, it's the way that the Lord wants it to be. And so that's, that's okay with me, you know? Anyway. Oh, I forgot this. Wait, let's, before we do this little taggy thingy, I have this right here. Um, and this was from this, uh, from this little punch that Allison gave me. And so I used my, uh, archival ink and I'm just going to put it up here because I want to use it. And I just want to add a little zhuzh to the page and it's black. And I once again have glue all over my fingers. So, okay. Now what I'm going to do with this, because these are kind of hard to, uh, paste down, right? So I'm using this zig pen glue stick thing, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Very technical term there. Um, but it just makes gluing these types of delicate pieces a lot easier. You know, you can use whatever glue you want, honestly. Okay, so I'm just going to put that right up there. Whoops, can you even see what I'm doing? Okay, get out of the way. Yep, I talked to my books as well. So I'm just going to stick these down. Okay, I don't know. And I might go back in here and zhuzh up the page with some white marker. I might not. Like I said, um, February for me is pretty much over. Okay, all right. Now we're going to move this aside and we're going to do this right here. Now, I did have some other, there they are right there. All right, I do want to put this here, okay? This is just using up my bits, you know? Using up my bits. That's kind of what I've been about this year is using up my stuff, right? Because again, like I said, life around here has changed a bit over the last few months. And um, yeah. No paycheck means no spendy. <laughs> yep, that's what happens sometimes. That's okay because right here, that's all that matters, right? So we're going to glue that down. We're going to glue that down just as a little added decoration. And again, I might go in here later with like a black pen and outline it or something. Who knows? So I have this here, this picture of the world, and yep, it's going to continue to spin. <laughs> yep, I just got to keep that in mind, you know? Just got to keep that in mind. Glad to see February go, looking forward to, you know, a good month in March. We'll see what happens. It's always a surprise, you know? Isn't that what's nice about life? <laughs> Never a dull moment. Okay, so I'm gonna do that there. And then I think, just to tie in with this thing up here, I'm gonna put this down here. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this right there. And I'm gonna use this. I really hope I'm in frame. Okay, yes, I am. All right, I love using these windows, um, these window envelopes, and like I said, I did get this from Allison, my sweet friend. And she's actually the one that like started me on the whole kick of using the window envelopes. I really like that idea. It's super cute. So we'll see if I can make it work on here, right? So now this is gonna go down here. And I'm just doing this to tie it in. Just making my own little tag out of bits and pieces, okay? bits and pieces all put together. Now this strip right here, I actually cut off of the the magazine clipping, right? So am I gonna waste it? Heck no, right? These are windows. I can put it right there. Okay, so how cool is that, right? You can still see the what I wrote, you know, but it gives it a pretty little background, so. We're gonna use this again. And I'm gonna show you here what I'm gonna do as well. Okay, so I'll put two, hopefully that's not ooh, too far. I don't know. All right. So let's just let's just stick it down, okay, and see what happens. <laughs> that's like my life story, you know? Let's just try it, see what happens. Okay, 
So I flip it over like that. Oh, the glue squeezed in there. That's okay, no big deal. All right, so there's that. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna take this and we're gonna cut it off like there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna scooch it up a little bit. All right, so there's that window there, super cute. And it just adds a little bit of color, you know. And then here's another window. So I'm gonna take this and put it right here, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing with our little pen. Maybe I'll put it a little bit uh, over more, right? Okay, and then we're just gonna take this and put it right there. Okay, it doesn't like completely cover the window, but it doesn't make a difference really. It'll be fine. It'll all work out, right? It'll all work out in the end. And if it doesn't, then it's not the end. Okay, that's fine. It's not like completely covering the window like I said, but again, that's all right. We're just gonna try to center it up a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut this off right there. All right, oops, gotta cut this off. I guess I'll cut it off right there. Okay, now let's see. What can we do here? What can we do? All right, I, I have several uh, things. Let me see on my notes here. Okay, so uh, this journaling tag right here that I'm just making again out of scraps. Now, well, let me show you what I'm going to do here. Okay, I'm looking in my bit box here and I have this piece of just dyed paper. Okay, what I'm going to do is take this and just glue it right on here. Right? Right on here like this. Or like that. Yeah. Kind of. It's not going to be straight. That's okay. All right. Let's just get that done. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay. So I'm going to just take this glue stick. All right. I'm sorry if I'm shaking you about. Okay. And I'm going to put glue all over the back of this envelope. all here everywhere okay now I have a thing for lines okay I like um, you know I like lined paper that's why a lot of times I really do enjoy having um, you know like notepads line notepads all right so I'm going to take this and put that down like that use my roly-poly my brayer okay see and this is like now sandwiched in the window you can still see my writing through it I can I mean and really quite honestly that's all that matters is that I can see it um, let's glue that little bit down there okay all right there we have it oh I was gonna put something I was gonna write something here Oh, I was going to write this I know. <laughs> that like the song Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Yep. Okay, that's done. So I'm chucking that. Getting out another glue stick. My that's something that like I never run out of is glue sticks. Glue sticks because my daughter's boyfriend graciously gives me an entire box for Christmas. So, okay, see so now has a few bumps and wrinkles. I don't really care. All right, so I'm gonna tear this because sometimes I just like to tear. Um, I probably should have used a ruler. I'll do it on the bottom just so I can show you how you can tear stuff a little bit more neatly. Although, you know, sometimes it's nice to have that jagged edge, you know, if you can see that. So. And funny enough, it all depends on the direction you're tearing, right? The paper, like, I don't know. It, it must have something to do with like the grain of the paper or whatever, because sometimes it's easier to peel on one side versus the other. 
All right, I'll just tear that off. These are going in the garbage. I know some people like don't, you know, they don't like to get rid of any little scrap, but hmm, let's see. I'll, this is how you tear it with a ruler, right? You just put it where wherever you want to tear it, right? Put it along the edge, and then you you pull the paper toward the ruler, okay? And then it tears off just like that, right? This down here, I'm just gonna tear off with my hands because I do. I want it to kind of match the top, right? All right, okay. There we have that, and nothing is ever final until. You ink it. So let's see. What color should I ink it? I think I am going to go around those with black. But I think I'm going to go around the whole thing with this pink. Pink Distress Ink. Right? I don't use the daubers, generally speaking. I use just the pad itself. And these are the little tiny ones. They're like an inch by an inch. And uh, yeah, they're super easy to use. And I just use them like this because I don't care. I, I like messy, you know? I don't like, uh, in some things I am fairly precise, but in other things, like, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. Um, oh, you know what I might put down there? There we go. Okay, so there's my journaling. And then the other thing I'm also gonna do is make a tab. I shall make a tab, hmm. Out of what paper though? Okay, see, <laughs> I don't really care about matchy matchy, this goes with that, you know, it just all depends. Okay, so this is like a little just scrap of, whatchamacallit paper, uh, scrapbook paper. It's a scrap of scrapbook paper. All right, so I'm gonna take this tab thing here, this tab, it looks like this. This is not the best design, I have to tell you, because I like my tabs to be attached at the top. You know, I like them to have a fold, and this only does it if you fold the paper properly, and then you have to like line it up, and it really is a pain in the butt. There we go. But in the end, you get a foldable, sorry, a foldable tab, right? Okay. So let's see here. You know what? I'm going to ink that up too because I'm an inker. Yes, I am. All right. This is archival ink. Again, a little, you know, a small pad because I just like inking. And I like these smaller ones. I get them on, I got them on Amazon. They last like literally forever. So I don't need the whole huge pad. That's the other thing, you know, I try to only get when I'm getting, you know, things that I'm going to use, you know, like, and I do use ink pads. This I'm going to just staple right on here as my little tab for this journaling spot. So there's that. I don't know what I'm going to journal. Here's another tip for you too. Whenever I use this tiny attacher, which is a fabulous tool, if you can get it, go ahead. I got it um, on sale at Joann's like a long while ago. Um, the staples are a little itty bitty. I don't even know if they're being sold anymore. I'm not sure. So I have to be careful that this, I have to be careful with other people in the house is what I'm saying because somebody will come out to my room looking for a stapler and then they see this and they're like, oh, let me just use that. Well, yeah, no. I need to write on here hands off or something. It's almost like um, fabric scissors, you know? You've gotta write fabric only, otherwise people come out here that don't know any different, you know, and mess up your fabric scissors. So, I, yeah. I'm stingy that way. I don't want other people using my, my tiny attacher. <laughs> Not when I have a regular stapler. All right, so here's this. I was going to write here, this I know, but I do have in my stash here some faith-based stickers that I love. So maybe I can find one that'll fit right there. Oh, how about this one? Be strong and take heart. He restores my soul. Yes. Um, hmm. Let's see. I need to have one that is 
you know, that fits this area here. Oh, as I have loved you. Oh, maybe that'll fit. Hmm. It might fit. I don't know. And then I have these. These might be a little bit too big. Yep, these are a little bit too big. So, all right. You are the God that works wonders. Yes, you are. Will that fit there? Eh, not exactly. I like this one. Be strong and take heart. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's fine. There. Isn't that pretty? Pretty, pretty, pretty. So there you go. This whole tag was just made out of scraps that I had laying around. Um, scraps that were given to me, whatever. And I love it. I love the way it came out. Um, yeah. So this, whoops, my fatty here. This will just go right into this pocket here. I can either shove it all the way in or whatever or leave it out a little bit like that and that'll work fine. I don't know if I'll do anything else on this page. I might uh, put some Tim Holtz stickers, might not. I'll put some type of journaling on here because let me look at my computer. A couple things were going on this day. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have to do another tag, I think, and I'll have two tags in here. Yes. Okay, yeah. I was just reading my notes. So yeah, this will go in here and then I'll make another tag to put in here as well. And we will call this February book macaroni. This January, February monster of a book. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. I might take a white pen and, and do, I don't know, something on here just to, you know, bring out some other aspects of the page. Who knows? I don't know. This is cute though, this little, but then it covers up my focus. I could always put it up there. See, so I can put this on here and this is also from my thing and I can journal a little bit on there. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. That is what I'm going to do. So I don't need this tag in here, but oh yeah, I do because I need to make sure that I have enough room. Hello, yeah, okay. I'm going to use tacky glue. Let's get that out of the way because again, I cannot use the Fabri-Tac, the stinky glue because not going to work. Yep. So we'll see how this does, right? Now I'm just gonna glue it right, whoops, right onto the page. Willy nilly glue job. It just needs to stick. Doesn't have to be perfect. So there we go with that. Let's turn this around. Okay, I think I'm gonna put it, whoops. Oh, almost made a boo-boo there. See this little notch right here? Yeah, I can't glue over that. <laughs> Aw, isn't that cute? Hmm? Yep, so I can use this little tag here to, to write about like what we had for dinner or, um, you know, how it, how it was a beautiful day and I went for my walk. And then in here, I'll write about something else that was going on that day. And then I'll probably make a bigger tag to put in here um, to write about some other stuff. Yeah, and then my book will be done for January, February. And I'll be able to move on. Move on, yep. Okay, so, boy, that was a half an hour to get a very little bit done. So I hope I was in frame for the whole thing and I hope you guys had, you know, got some ideas and some inspiration. I hope you're having a great crafty day and I'll talk at y'all real soon. Thanks for sharing your time with me. Bye.